Hey there, welcome back. Today I'm showing you a basic pedicure right at home. I'm using Josie Moran body scrub and I'll finish with the body butter. And to adorn my toes, I'll be using my favorite combo by Sally Hansen. The soaker that I use is under $50. I'll be sure to tag it in the video. I filled my soaker with warm water and added Epsom salt and lavender oil. After letting my feet soak for about 10 minutes to soften the skin, I use my pumice stone to sand down and smooth the rough skin. You'll see that there's still a bit of callus. Some like to completely get rid of it, exposing the new skin, but I actually don't mind a little bit of a callus. I wear sandals often and walk around my house barefoot, so I need the cushion. Sand as much or as little as you'd like here, but you can see I did start off with like quite a rough patch, especially on that heel area, and it's totally normal. We're human and this develops, especially with the weather change when our skin is much drier. So unfortunately the camera went a bit blurry here, but I am doing the icky part, getting rid of dead skin around the cuticle, pushing back the cuticle, yucky but very important part. Now I'm going in with my sugar scrub. This is my favorite part where you just give your foot a good old rub down all over the foot partially up the leg and in between the toes. And then after rinsing that off, I go ahead and shape my toenails. Not shown here, but after filing, I used a spray bottle just to rinse my foot and I wiped it with the towel. Next, I massage a rich foot cream into my feet and calves to lock in hydration. And I like to go the extra mile and add an oil on top of that just because I love it when my skin is shines, you know. One thing that always happens when I film is I forget steps. Totally forgot to add my base coat, but don't be like me. Be sure to do that first. Here, I'm just wiping my toenails clean using acetone. This gets rid of the oils. When you do this step, you're making sure that your nail polish isn't going anywhere. Nail polish doesn't stick very well to an oily surface. Now I'm taking Sally Hansen Hot Stone or Hot stone and I'll be applying two coats.
And I'm finishing with the Sally Hansen Unicorn Top Coat. This is my absolute fave. I use it all the time and get compliments each and every single time I use it. There's something quite special about pairing the two, Hot Stone and Unicorn. They pair beautifully. The shine is just amazing. I believe I used about three coats of Unicorn, but I may have gone overboard. I am not sure. With that step, I think you should just keep on going until the ancestors say stop. And there you have it, an easy basic pedicure you can do yourself. Your feet will feel amazing and look even better. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe for more beauty and self-care tips. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, I wish you nothing but peace and love.